Good morning. Welcome to the Ambassadors Hour. This is your girl, Minister Asia. If this is your first time watching, the Ambassadors Hour is a telecommunication outreach ministry solely dedicated to speaking in, in present truths. We are a subsidiary of Loving People by Sharing Christ, a Christian support page found on Facebook, founded by Minister Renata C. McFadden and her bestie Heather. There on Loving People by Sharing Christ, you will find memes, gifts, and other graphical illustrations of the undying love of Jesus Christ. Now, if if you haven't already please like share comment and subscribe to the channel let's get into the contents of the video after we say our daily mantra for I know who I am and whom that I stand whom empowers me to be I am an ambassador for Christ and this is the hour to recognize me now you know I said we're um, dedicated to speaking in present truths and the truth is the key to unlocking peace comes from from your trust and reliance upon God. Today we will be exploring Proverbs 16 and 7 as well as Isaiah 26 and 3. And we will be talking about the peace of God and the perfect peace of God and how to tap into it. And so if you're ready, go ahead and get your Bible. If you can't, then I will have the, the Bible verses linked in the description box below as well as all of our social media information and um things of that nature so we're talking about unlocking the peace of God the literal definition of the word peace is freedom from disturbance tranquility it's a time in your life when there's no war and if you're a Christian that means that even though there is a presence of warfare you have a express advantage on the kingdom of darkness because you have tapped into the peace of God. Having peace of God means that you're in synchronization and syncopation with his purpose, his divine will for your life, that you are in a harmonious stage. Now that does not mean that there's not chaos going on all around you like the times that we're experiencing right now but when you have the peace of God and you unlock the peace of God then guess what hell all hell could be breaking loose around you but it affects you differently isn't that something he gives you a confidence and a momentum and a stride in his walk with you that you know what? You don't even worry about the little things. You don't sweat the small stuff. You have the joy of the Lord. It keeps you. It's your strength. He provides for you. And you just have tranquility. And you can vibe out and walk out the vision because you're anchored in him. Proverbs 16 and 7 says that when a man's ways please God, he will make even his enemies be at peace with him isn't that something so the first key to unlocking the peace of God that true tranquility freedom from disturbance harmonious joy is by pleasing God we understand that Acts 3 and 19 says that times of refreshing come from the pleasant presence of the Lord the more you spend time like I'm psalms 91 says under the shadow of the almighty under his wings the more you spend time in fervent prayer and the more you spend time just asking god what it is that he has put you on this earth for and you spend time cultivating your spiritual gifts and developing who you are as a man or woman of God and seeing what your role is what you're supposed to do for your children what you're supposed to do in your occupation what are you supposed to do in your church what are you supposed to do in the community as you start trying to please God and do Matthew 25 ministry where when Jesus came he said when I was hungry you clothed me when I was naked when I was naked you clothed me when I was hungry you, you gave me food you're doing those things things like that you're going out and you're seeking and saving that which is lost you're doing the little things by just developing and cultivating a relationship with a person who might be a introvert or a loner or they may be going through a season in their life where they need a little bit of extra attention they need somebody to listen to them they may vent and you may be just that listening ear that crying shoulder that arm that wraps around them that motivates them let you know like girl look sis you got this bro you got this you can go on life is not gonna be like this forever 
when you unlock the peace of God and you start to trust him and you spend time in his presence, then even your enemies will be at peace with you because you're pleasing God and you're taking care of his business. Then guess what? He takes care of yours. He handles your light weight. And that's the first key. We're going to talk about three keys to unlocking the peace of God. Three keys to really truly getting into that presence of God. And those were the first two. The first one is pleasing God. When a man's ways please God, he will make even his enemies at peace with him. We understand that Matthew 10 and 22 says that we shall be hated by all for his name's sake. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. And in that endurance time, and you're enduring to the end, you're spending time in God's presence, which is the second key to unlocking the peace of God, is spending time in his presence. Because times of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. Then you're, un you're able to endure, and you don't have to worry about the haters. You don't have to worry about bills. You don't have to worry about nothing. Because God supplies all of your needs according to his riches and glory, which are in Christ Jesus. And if you're in him, you're in his presence, then guess what? All of your needs are being provided. He's giving you the joy of the Lord. That's giving you strength to endure all the chaos that's going around you. He gives you inner peace, which is the third key that we're going to talk about, is by keeping your mind and your thoughts stayed on the Lord. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, if we... Um, he will keep those in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord because why we trust in him. That's the key. These are the keys. Let me tell them to you again. Let me tell them to you again, sis. You got to get this. <laughs> I'm excited about this thing. I was working out this morning. I was on that elliptical and I was just going. I was getting it. And then I did 30 minutes on the bike. Yesterday I did 30 minutes on the elliptical. Today I did only 9 minutes and 30 seconds. Then I other did my other 42 um, minutes on the bike. And then I did my glutes and I did um, my core and I was just working out and I just heard the Lord of God speaking to me. He was like, you know what? You're in your element. You're in your zone. You tapped into the peace because you're not looking around you. You're not extrinsically focusing on what other people are doing, their goals they're trying to reach. You've been spending some quiet time with me. Last night, I just sat there and I just worshiped and I just sang to the Lord and I spent time in his presence. Old hymns and old songs and all kind of just get going there like you know I love you Lord you know because you care for me in such a special way that's why I praise you that's why I lift you up that's why I magnify your name and that's why my heart is filled with praise and then God said you know what give them the keys to get to where you are in this peaceful place now I have to have a confession you know we're all about telling the truth on the ambassador's hour I haven't always had peace in my life I would worry about how I was going to do this or how I was going to do that, what people thought of me, man's perceptions of me. I always went around trying to appease others so much that I had inner turmoil on, in the inside of me. And it wasn't until I unlocked these keys of keeping my mind and thoughts stayed on him, trusting God and trying to please him. Then I understood that the more I spent time in his presence, the more peace I had in my life. We understand that in his right hand are, his, are treasures forevermore. So the more you get into his presence, you get in his heart, then you can have everything that's in his hand. Isn't that something? If you give God your heart and you get into his heart, then there is nothing in the hand of God that you can't have. All of those treasures he will give you. All of the peace he will give you. The healing is already yours. Jesus Christ took 39, almost 40. One shot of 40 lashes on his back for the healing of the nations, which represent all 39 major diseases. He was wounded for our transgression. He was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of peace. There we go. That's what I was getting to. The chastisement of peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. He was chastised already for us, for our peace. And the more we spend time in his presence showing him gratitude and thanks for the sacrifice that he made on Calvary for us, then guess what? He is 
um, seated at the right hand of the Father. He's making intercession for us. He's perpetually praying day and night for us, for our needs, for our peace, for our joy, for everything, for our sanctification. And the more we spend time in his presence and we seek his face, then it begins to we yield the harvest of peace in our life. Isn't that something? Well, if you really truly want to unlock the peace of God, you got to trust him. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not to thy own understanding. For in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. That's Proverbs 3, 4, 3 through 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. But in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. And the paths, the multiple paths that he leads you are peaceful paths. He leads you beside the still waters. I know sometimes when I sit down and I listen to the pond and I hear the water just flow. It's so tranquil and it's so calm. When you're walking on the paths of God and you're spending time in his presence, he refreshes you because he takes you the scenic route. And along that route, you see so many scenes. You begin to look at things um, in the earth in a whole different way just by being in the presence of God. I'll never forget back in 2003, I had was in college I was taking microcomputer specialist and it was a very very tedious course and um, I was doing programming at the time visual basic and I was learning how to write computer programs when I signed up to be a microcomputer specialist I thought it was gonna be more of the software side where I would be creating documents making web pages things of that nature but no this microcomputer specialist teaches you how to actually format and write code and make computer programs but I'm not a quitter it was hard so I was sitting there and I was studying and at the time my mom she was very sick she had just had two toes amputated and my grandmother was living with us and she was um, she had brain tumor for several years before she died and she had um, uncontrolled diabetes and it was like I had to help take care of her and take her places I had to take my mom to the wound care center I was working and I was going to college and it was a very very taxing time in my life my father had just got sentenced to 10 years in prison 15 years do 10 and it was like the weight of the world seemed to be on my shoulder and so one day in between classes I went to go to the courtyard and I went and just sat on a bench and I just sat on a bench to try to cram before I took my exam my visual basic exam we had to write some code to program ATM machine it was a very intense piece of code pseudocode and it was difficult and I was like Lord I need to know this language you're speaking in ones and zeros and i'm i only speak english and, and spanish i failed french with a 65 in ninth grade lord jesus i'm gonna need you to help me make this raiment he said put it down put it all down i put the books down i put the notebook down i put everything down and he said just take a look and i sat there and i looked and before me there was an open field and there was a butterfly on there and in the butterfly there was, um, it was so free and it was so liberating. It was so tranquil. And God began to show me how he metamorphosized me. In my former days, I was a mess. I did some trifling things and things that I was not proud of. But God began to do a work on my heart. And when he did surgery on the inside of me, he metamorphosized me. In my former days, I was low and icky to the ground, just like a caterpillar. But when God came and he made me a new creation, and he told me how to keep my mind on him, and he gave me his peace, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding. Mortal men can't even comprehend the peace of God. How you can, the world can be just toe up all around you and you have a smile on your face because it's the peace of God and so I looked at that butterfly he said that's how I've done you I liberated you he said where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is freedom you don't have to worry about code you don't have to worry about finance you don't have to worry about nothing I clothe the lilies of the field I feed the birds of the air I transform that butterfly I'm behind all this it's just like the odds when you get behind Behind that curtain God is up there making all of this happen he sits high he looks low 
heaven is his throne and the earth is his footstool. He sent angels from the north, south, east, and the west to minister to the needs of the people, to gather our tears when we cry, to give a solution to our problems. So it's easy to have the peace of God when you sit back and look and like, you know what? God got this. He has this. Everything is in his hand. He's in total control. Well, I love you. The camera's about to cut off. Goodbye for now. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord,